I'm not a makeup artist. I'm a makeup enthusiast. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm coming to you with the November Ipsy Bag. So, um, if you don't know what Ipsy Bag is, Ipsy Bag is a beauty subscription service. Kind of like, you know, Curlbox or whatever. But it's for beauty items. They give you a bag, you literally get a makeup bag. And in your makeup bag will be several items of goodies for your beauty, you know, hair, skin, nails, that you don't know what they are. They send you random based on your profile. It costs $10 to subscribe. You can pay for the full year. And if you do, instead of paying $120 for 12 months, you get one month free and you pay $110, which is what I did. If you're interested in Ipsy Bag, check the description box. I have a link there. Click on it and subscribe. So lot. let's look at the um, theme of this particular month. So November's theme is Glam It Up. And in terms of how many people like have sponsored, it's not as much as in the past. Sometimes like this whole back is filled with sponsors, but there's still a good amount of sponsors that are in the part of the bag or whatever. Um, it says you can win a one year glam bag subscription. Um, if you take a photo of your glam bag goodies and you share it with Ipsy on Instagram or Facebook, hashtag Ipsy. So you can definitely do that if you want to win another year. I'll probably do that myself. Why not? You know? Um, okay. And there's a coupon in here for M. Michelle Fon Cosmetics. Oh, she's the uh, a beauty blogger here on YouTube who has her own cosmetics line. You go, girl. All right, so let's get to the bag. OMG, I love it. I love this bag. My favorite color is gold, and my one of my business's colors is pink. So I love this. This bag is nice. And the uh, texture, like this fake snake skin this is so nice i love that this bag actually has a wristlet thank you ipsy now you can carry your makeup bag with you on your hand you can use it as a purse or whatever i actually use my ipsy bags as makeup bags for my purse and then when i don't feel like carrying my big bag around i take it out and i use it as a purse on its own and put my like card in there my license in there whatever okay so let's get to what's in here the first item that i pull out it says Star Looks. I think this is an eye pencil. I actually have another one from Ipsy from Star Looks. It was a coal pencil. And this one, it's called a gem pencil. It's in the color Amethyst. So, that sounds cool. I'm not sure exactly what you would use with a gem pencil. Is it the same as an eyeliner pencil or, you know, is it, is it a lip liner pencil? I don't really know. Um, but I'm sure you could probably use it as both. Okay, so the next item I have is Be A Bombshell. It's a lip crayon and it's the color Shameless. Um, I actually got, a, we got something from Be A Bombshell in last year's Ipsy bag. It was an eyeliner. This is, um, this is a lip crayon. Here's a swatch of it. It's a nice berry color. It's a nice berry color. I think it's pretty. I'd rock it. I know for a fact that this, um... Be a bombshell lip crayon costs more than ten dollars, so this bag is already worth it. Next, I got um, this. Looks like it's probably gonna be an oil. Oh, I love these things. <laughs> Am I the only one who loves these things? Okay, so this is yep argan oil by HSI Professional. It's a leave-in hair treatment. Next, we got a product from Pixie. This is a beauty bronzer in the color Summertime. We had got something from Pixie before. I believe it was a primer. It was pretty good. So this shade looks like it would be the right shade for me for a bronzer. So I'm happy that I got this shade. Um, but we'll see how this works. All right. Next I have, ooh, Nail Teeny. This is definitely going to be a nail polish. I'm actually wearing a Nail Teeny nail polish right now. It's this gold here on my uh, ring finger on top of the blue. I had... I'm wearing Nail Teeny Millionaire, and this Nail Teeny Millionaire is a color that I got in an Ipsy bag around the holiday season last year. Ooh, it's a nice, like, steel, silver steel color, metal color. It's called Caviar Cocktail. And the last item in here is something from M. Uh, it's called Pillow Plush Cushiony Lip Balm, and my color is Strawberry. I don't think it smells like anything. 
but the packaging is really nice. So that's the Ipsy bag for November and I love this bag. I actually promised my best friend that I would give her my Ipsy bags from now on because I just have so much stuff that I'm accumulating, but I think I might keep this one for myself. Shh. I really do. I think that I think that this is a nice um, uh, lip gloss or lip balm. It's actually a lip balm. Yeah, it's a lip balm. I mean, you always need a lip balm. So I think that this is definitely a great um, piece for the bag. I think that's nice. And it's a large quantity. So you'll keep that for a very long time. I love nail teeny polishes. I have, I uh, think I have two others now from being a part of Ipsy. And I really, really love them. Um, the have this one is called Frap. And I've actually used it a lot. I don't know if you can see from the, the packaging, um, but I've used it up and it's like down to here. So I've actually gotten a lot of use out of it. And this is the millionaire that I showed you that's on my nail right here. So now I have another one. Um, this new one, I think it's really pretty. And their polishes are really good quality. Um, I also like... The oil, I definitely will be using this. I like to use these type of oils um, in my hair, but because it's so little as a natural, I use it more on my scalp. So instead of like dumping it out and like rubbing it all over my hair, I'll put some in my palm and use my fingertips and then massage it onto my scalp when I part my hair. So that's a better, that's a better way to get the most out of these oils. But argan oil is really, really expensive. So if you're sitting there like that little oil, that's nothing. It's because it's argan argan oil so expensive to get pure argan oil um and then the bronzer I actually like I, I think bronzers are really nice especially in the summertime you can wear them now if you want to but for me because my skin is dark and I'm pregnant I already have a natural glow I don't really need a bronzer and the lip crayon is nice I love the I love this the shade of it so I'm actually really happy with this bag um and I think oh yeah and the pencil I'm not sure what to do with it yet if it's lip or if it's eye but nonetheless I'm sure it'll be fine and this bag just the bag alone is worth it for me because I love gold so I'm really pleased with this November bag and I think the November bag totally makes up for that fail of an October bag if you didn't see my October Ipsy bag video totally check it out so many people said that they were unsubscribing and so many people said that they were happy they unsubscribed a while but ago now I'm actually happy that you know I stuck with it I didn't plan on unsubscribing anyway but for those of you who stuck with it this totally makes up for it so I know there's probably gonna be people who love the bag who hated the bag who were so so I definitely want to know did you get your November Ipsy bag and if you did what did you think about it what did you love um what did you hate what items that I got did you get and what were the different items because there's always different items sometimes I get things that people didn't get and you girls get things that I didn't get so let me know what I didn't get that you got and so on For those of you who are kind of on the fence with joining with joining Ipsy because it's like hit or miss, um, I had some discussions with some of my loves in the comment section in the last video, and they were saying they think it's a pointless um, thing because they rather just take ten dollars and go and get something they really want. And my argument to that that mentality or that point of view is it totally makes sense <laughs> if you are a makeup enthusiasts like myself um, or some of the beauty bloggers out there then obviously an Ipsy subscription really doesn't make that much sense because you kind of already know what you like. Like you have no problem going into the Mac store or Sephora or the drugstore and picking up your perfect foundation, your perfect lipstick, your perfect lip gloss, your perfect nail polish, um, eye pencils, makeup brushes, primers, um, pigments. What else do they put in the Ipsy bag? Um, liners. You don't have a problem doing that. So you don't need Ipsy. I really don't think that you need Ipsy but for people who are brand new to makeup and who don't know much about it the exposure is amazing because I would have never known about products like Nail Teeny or Pixie, Juice Beauty, um, Be A Bombshell, um, what other what up and all the other brands that they've introduced me like I wouldn't have known about them when I first started going into the makeup field field of things because I just wasn't familiar these are things that you cannot find at 
your local Target, Walmart, and your drugstores. A lot of these products you can't find there. They're only available online and some maybe select retailers. So that type of person who is brand new, looking for something new, wanting to dibble dabble in makeup but don't want to invest that much money because I remember going on Nail Teeny one time and a nail teeny polish was about $14, $15. So I'm not going to invest this much money in a nail teeny nail polish when I can go to CVS and Target and pick up OPI for $9 or SE or, you know, what other, other um, nail polishes there are. But now that I've had not one, not two, but three nail teenies, I'm getting exposure to this company that I never would have gotten before. And the fact that this is a $14, $15, $16 product in a bag with four or five other products makes the $10 a no-brainer like it's just a no-brainer now I don't work for Ipsy y'all <laughs> I do have an affiliate link but I do not get paid I my affiliate link simply like adds up points and then every now and then I can go select an item I have yet to do that even though people have been subscribing so I don't want you to think like oh she's pushing Ipsy on us because she um she's getting paid I'm not but I'm I'm letting you know that even though you have one mindset about the value of Ipsy, it's $10 and it's not worth it, just go buy what you want. The things that they put in these bags cost more than $10 most of the time, especially when it's full size, um, that you cannot just go buy, like the Be, the, be a Bombshell. I had a Be a Bombshell um, bodybuilder eye, uh, mascara that I loved and I'm going to buy it back. I had a sample of um, a Juice Booty, <laughs> Juice Booty, <laughs> a Juice Beauty product it was a toner. I still bought, I went and bought the huge one till this day. I love it. Um, so you get introduced to things that you like, you don't like. It's a hit or miss. It's a subscription service. It's not perfect. It's not going to give you exactly what you want. But if you know exactly what you want, don't subscribe. It's $10. You'd rather put your $10 elsewhere. I totally agree with you. Go spend your money somewhere else because it makes no sense if you know exactly what you want. Um, but I love doing these videos. I'm going to keep my subscription. Um, and like I said, I, I plan on giving them to my best friend so she can benefit from these items. But honestly, this bag I think I'm going to keep. <laughs> so she might be like, you give me the bags you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true I like this bag um okay well that's it for now uh don't forget let me know about your ipsy subscriptions what you got what you love what you didn't love what was different and of course if you have questions leave them below subscribe to my second channel Janelle B Stewart and of course I all as always I love you for watching bye your B L A C K is B E A U T I F U L your since my pregnancy my nails have been growing really, really quickly, and I actually have to cut them down a lot because I have an almost two-year-old son, and when I'm bathing him or...